right, so here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity to become a guy that has fought for the UFC Heavyweight Championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school, break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup. Martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimplet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gould, that's a feather in your cap. Pimplet back on the horse time. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimplet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblett does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblett package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Patty the Patty Black. All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No crap. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. So you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Right hand, that'll work. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? I think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. He starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. 
Good series of punches by him. That's it! The Black Beast strikes again! Holy smokes! We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for the Black Beast Derek Lewis. You know, few heavyweights have been as active and few have been as effective as Lewis dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continues to pile up the...